is David Whaler. I'm the educator for cardiothoracic anesthesia, part of the Anesthesia Institute, respiratory therapy. I'm an educator. Today we're going to look at a couple of pig lungs, uh, this set of pig lungs, and we're going to do different modes of ventilation and just show some basic examples of what's going on. Right now we're on a PIPA 12 in pressure control ventilation with a driving pressure of 6, getting a great volume. These lungs have been totally recruited. We create a little belt bleb from bagging there, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But basically, pig lungs have an extra lobe. They have greater total surface area than human lungs, but the alveoli are smaller. So in this lung, this is from about a 70 kilogram pig, so that would be a 140 pound person. So this is basic pressure control ventilation. We have good compliance, so compliance times the pressure gradient, we're giving a pressure of 6, gives us a tidal volume, which is good. Flow in pressure control ventilation is rapidly decelerating, and it's pressure gradient over resistance, so we're getting good flow. Let's change the mode of ventilation and show what happens. Let's go to volume control, and all over the planet, uh, they're using about 10 mLs per kilogram, so let's go to volume control of 700 with a peak of 0. This is done all over the place. So let's see what happens. Ready, Mr. Music? Thank you. So see with zero, that's hemorrhaging to the lung. That's 700. We're way losing all of our recruitment. If you look at this lobe, it's totally collapsed. And this, people on the outside would think things were going well. Look at this lung, it's totally collapsed. This is tidal volume 700. Peep is zero. Volume does kill. Now we're doing what's called repetitive alveolar collapse and expansion. Race, repetitive alveolar collapse and expansion, killing the lungs. Let's turn the peep up to five. Now since we're assuming some level of lung damage, now we, it takes forever to recruit with this. Let's turn the peep up to 10. Now we've got a reasonably recruited lung, and let's turn the volume down to like 400. It's gonna take us a while to re-recruit what was de-recruited, but volume kills. You know, we, we have less hemorrhaging going on with the lung. When we were looking before, it's not you know, looking as damaged. Now, let's go back and let's assume, let's do some recruitment using pressure control with P. Let's go back to pressure control ventilation. This hasn't been so dramatic as I had hoped. Oh, hope you're getting the point. Let's go to pressure control of like 10 with a PEEP of 10 and then we're gonna add PEEP as we go along. When we're ventilating with room air, these lungs are doing great. We're ligated into the trachea. They have an extra lobe, and they also have an extra uh, bronchus here prior to, you know, the initial bifurcation of right and main left, uh, right and main uh, bronchi. Here's another bleb that we created. So let's add the peep. Let's go up on peep at 12 and see what we do recruitment-wise. We get a little more lung stabilization. Well, let's go to peep at 16 and see what happens. And we'll bring the driving pressure down. We're getting like a tidal volume between three and four hundred now. And we're bringing the driving pressure down. And even with that peep stabilizing the lung, with very little driving pressure, we're affecting change. So let me do something a little more dramatic. I'm going to interrupt the system here, and we're going to bag this patient with two hands. We're going to stand by, and I'd like to think. Give a shout out to all the people in cardiothoracic respiratory therapy. Right? So we're going to bag with <laughs> one hand, and that's reasonable. You know, when somebody's in an emergent state, you bag with one hand. I can create a little peep by creating a threshold resistor here. But I frequently see people bagging with two hands because they have somebody has an obstruction. Now, we can help recreate uh, Margaret and Denise here will help recreate a, an obstruction just by clamping a little bit. So now we've got an obstruction. Let's get rid of that obstruction. And they bag with two hands. They put saline down. And look what happens to me. Oh my God, it looks like it's going to blow. Okay, everybody's freaking out on me. Okay, it looks like it's going to blow. And we're creating blobs. Oh, okay, let it go. I can hear a fistula from here. So we've created a hole in the lung. We've Look at this has popped out. We've, look at that blub is going crazy. We go over here, we've got a whole string. This is pre-blub. You know, right here we created a blub over here. 
and we blew out the lungs over here. So, oh my god, look. We deconstructed this lobe totally, created that blob. Over here, more blobs, just by bagging with two hands. So this is a cautionary tale. Volume kills, volume kills, use generous amounts of PEEP to stabilize the lung field. And then titrate to pulmonary mechanics. Titrate your PEEP and your volume. That's it from our little lung lab for today. Thank you very much.